Ryan, what are you doing? So we got this uh, in the mail today from the Gadget Gangster. <gasps> That's right. He's got our number. This is uh, we're playing with here the El Jugador. Uh, as you can see, it's a couple of just bare circuit boards with some crap plugged into them. A couple of bootleg ass uh, Nintendo controllers. These are from here. They look good. From yeah, here like, they look real. Like, Whoa, check out the sweet! And it's like and we got one in a box, also right there in front of you. Uh, but yeah, as you were saying earlier, the buttons could not feel more wrong on the like like the height of the start and select buttons. Anyways, <laughs> get caught up here on the unimportant things. This is a console. This is a video game system here. Right. Or so I'm told. Uh, so you put Xbox discs into it? Yeah, or that's like right. What? No, it uses SD card that they load stuff up onto. And I guess this is, uh, he, he threw a sampling of some stuff that uh, the community has put together. Uh -huh. uh, I, don't, I don't really know what the community for this is, but there is the wonderful, there's the dashboard for El Jugador. This is version 1.0. GadgetGangster.com right there. Uh, we'll just choose the first thing on the list. And uh, yeah. Someone so, made a thing that plays... Plays SIDs. Plays SID files. And then decided that this would be the right SID to have. They're not you wrong. You know what? They're not wrong. No one's wrong in this equation here. Yeah. The, the, the gadget gangster and El Jugador. I need the start button to pause it. It's like, wait, hold on. I gotta, I'll be right back. I gotta do something. I don't want to miss this part of the Ghostbusters theme played in SID. Alright, I think I have to... Oh. Well, here we go. What is this? Name that tune. Sid style. Hey, Reed. I don't know, but it's awesome. It's spooky. My selects. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. SIDs are great. Yeah. The Commodore 64. He said so gnarly. It's so awesome. There you go. Let's spy versus spy. Put that back on. <laughs> yeah. It's like, an, it's like the beginning of like an Usher slow jam. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, you. <laughs> spy, spy Hunter. There you go. This is the Commodore 64 commando music. Oh, nice. What a weird goddamn thing this is! I don't, I don't believe there's any way for me to my shoulder buttons that I have to hold down. To reset it, yeah, you know, turn off, and back on, uh, yeah. pick a different, uh, pick a different application. Power, switch the power on. So it. yeah, like you, like you said, it sounds like these applications are all uh, just built by the community of people that, that are making stuff for this thing. Yeah, so, homebrew dudes. Yeah, uh, the schematics and the design, anyone can download it. So and let's see what looks. Bus. And I guess the Gadget Gangster is also selling kits. Uh, if you want to go that route. Oh, this looks terrible. Oh. Yo, you're playing it out of circuit boards. <laughs> <laughs> like. Oh, God. And this is not. This is a less than ideal D pad. But, uh, like you said, look at the tiny thing that I'm playing it on. Someone sure made a, you know, a breakout clone. Well, I mean, it's, you know, it's kind of designed to look like Arkanoid. Doesn't look like it has actual power-ups, though. You have to stay tuned for Ballbuster 2. <laughs> Coming soon. 260. Nailed it. All right. All right. Next, next application. There's no reset button on it somewhere? Come on. What? I'm impressed that they put little pads for the feet on the bottom there. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that. I, I honestly, when I first turned this on, I was prepared to just be shocked to hell. Like, okay, this is gonna... Still could happen. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Bomberman. <laughs> yep. This is the worst version of Bomberman. What is the scan... Is, it's not scan lines, but there's something about the resolution of this that is especially funky. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. It's, like it doesn't it's like necessarily at... play on on the video. I don't think I don't no. think the folks at home will really get. Oh uh, yeah, if I zoom in like that, you can sort of see the big thick green and black lines there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like probably refresh rate issues. He he did say that this was you know intended for PAL, 
No, no. Or, it says uh, it says that it does. Will work for PAL. PAL or NTSC. Okay. So, I mean, if this was said to PAL, I don't think it would show anything. I guess not. So I guess it, this actually does have two controller ports, so we could totally be playing two-player Bomberman right now. We could. Why don't you move um, on to the I'm next see, thing? I'm oh, anyone skates. Clamoring. Skates, skates, skates. Nope. Dead Bomberman. Skates. B-Man. bomber mm. Bummer. Mm. It's almost like you're trying to play NES games at 2600 resolutions. Lock and chase. You want to see what Decong looks like? All Let's right. Skip down the list a little bit here. I want to see lock and chase, but yes. Okay, well, we'll, do, we'll do lock and chase. I'll press start. Log and Chase wasn't an Intellivision game, these by the way. These are the best sounding games. <laughs> Try hitting the button when you go through one of those gates. Yeah, you should there be able to yeah, lock people off. And that's, if you, that's the locking, huh? Yeah. They chase, you lock. You pop and lock, actually, but that's... Pop and lock and chase is the, the, the sequel that I'm working it's on. It's a much more complicated Yeah. Game. Now I can't get through the gate. That's right. You gotta wait for him to expire. All right, try decon. <laughs> you had enough lock and chase. I'm good. All right. I do like lock and chase though. I like this ridiculous tiny thing. Oh, come on, boot faster. <laughs> you guys need to put that in your car, and then you can just drive. Yeah. It set it up in the car. Dodgy Kong, nice. Indeed. Seventy-six fifty. They got the high score right. Yo, I'm calling Nintendo. <laughs> well, you should probably call them for these controllers first. <laughs> yeah, there's some weird overscan going on also here. Dude, that is a pretty good looking Bootsy ass Donkey Kong clone. Never get the hammer, dude. Why would I know. Oh no! That's Cause, why. Cause that's yeah, why. You that's why you never get the hammer. That's why. Yeah, this is this is, this is fairly quality bootleg ass Donkey Kong. Well, what's up, you guys? Playing some Dodgy Kong? A little Dodgy Kong. Oh word! <laughs> Yo, let me get in on that Dodgy Kong. Yo, Andy, there's a uh, kill screen coming up. <laughs> nice. Dodgy, Dodgy Kong. Kong kill screen coming up. <laughs> there it is. Boom! I did it. That's. So that's the El Jugador. From the Gadget Gangster, I'd like to thank the Gadget Gangster personally for uh, for sending us this unsolicited yes. advice. Yes. Uh, it's weird stuff. I imagine you can learn more about this on the internet. Yeah, and you could be... <laughs> yes, if you use the internet to... Google El Jugador. <laughs> Safe search off. If you know what I'm saying. And image, images only. And images only. Yeah. There you go. All right.